This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI Panthers find their second straight win against an in-state opponent, this time topping the Drake Bulldogs 45-14. And coach, the first half, your defense really set the tone, came out really strong. Your son Jake, the linebacker, scored a touchdown on the first Drake offensive possession. No, I thought that that's really what separated the game was uh, the defense and the special teams that created some good field position for the offense. So that kind of started the game off right. You mentioned special teams, DeAndre Hall. Uh, he had a sack defensively, but also had a blocked punt in that game. Exactly. That was that was kind of the tone that we wanted to set. Thought we could get after their punter a little bit, but I, I don't think they crossed the 50-yard line until their last possession of the first half. Yeah, the Drake offense really had a lot of trouble. Your defense just were you pinning your ears back and just letting your defensive line go? Well, our defensive line has improved. I think uh, some of the things we're doing is be better uh, for our for the players that we have. So you know. Combined from last week to this week, I'm pleased with where we're at right now in defense. Xavier Williams in the game, two and a half sacks. What do you like about him? Xavier is 6'4", 330 pounds, and can run. He made a good push in the middle, and I think he's a big part of why we're having success because he's in that middle force. He also had uh, some good defensive efforts from Tim Kilfoy and uh, Jordan Gakey today. Yeah, uh, Tim, Tim has really had a good, a good season so far. I mean, uh, he showed up late in camp starting to make plays and then the, the Iowa State game he showed up again and then uh, you know tonight I'll have to look at the film but apparently he showed up again so he's really running well and, he, and he's getting to the football and he fits this defense well. Defense had a great effort a shutout in that first half the offense a little bit of a slow start the first couple of possessions but as the first half grew on it seemed like they got stronger and stronger. They did I, was, I wasn't pleased with it I mean uh, of course we wanted to run the ball I saw the same thing you did you wish you would have ran the ball but I think we got a little spoiled last week by seeing the, the, the way that we could run the football. We did not do that tonight, but I also thought they loaded the box. They were nine in the box, and it's hard to run against anybody. And that opens up your passing game, and that's why you saw the big pass plays that came up in the first half. Yeah, it looked like a lot of attention was on number seven, David Johnson. He was able to uh, break a couple big ones that first half, and then in the third quarter, 65-yard touchdown to put him over 100 yards. Again, I was happy to see him get that because he was struggling, at least with the yardage and numbers. The number one thing we want to do is win the game, stay healthy. We did those two things, I think, for the most part, and then he also he broke that one run for us. In that first half when the offense started to get rolling a little bit, it seemed like Cole Morgan started to hit a few more targets and then was able to come up with some big plays. Well, you can see we're going to have to throw the ball, you know, as much as run the ball because everybody's going to target seven now. So we're going to have to be able to throw the football, but that's when Vereen got the play in the middle. You saw Owens with the play in the seam, and you saw Wright with the play in the back of the end zone. All were in the middle of the field because everybody's kind of collapsing on the run from the outside in, bringing safeties down, which opens up the middle. Kevin Verena, wide receiver, I think he's 6'3". Uh, he's kind of the big target now with LeMaster out. He, he'll, he'll kind of be that big go-to guy? You know, go-to or he'll be one of the, one of the four that we, we have on the field. And, uh, you know, whatever the, the defense decides to do to stop seven, we'll have to have a counter in the passing game to beat the, beat the defense. Coach, uh, offensively, Breon Carnes took a few more snaps in there. Quarterback, uh, you always keep Cole Morgan out there on the field. Uh, do you like just having those extra options? Well, we needed to see what Breon could do as a quarterback. Should Cole Morgan get hurt, what will Breon be as a quarterback for us in the system? I think we got a good handle of what Steven Kaiser is by, by being here and being in the, in the two-a-day camp that we've had. But I think we also need to see what Breon was under the gun as the quarterback, truly the quarterback and not the wildcat guy. How was he going to perform? Looked like he had one pass kind of slip out of his hands. Drake turned it into uh, seven points. Was that just a slip of the ball? No, here's what I've heard now is I thought he got hit, but what I've heard is, is he had just fielded that punt and he said it slipped out of his glove. He never took his gloves off to throw the ball. Now I'm going to watch, but if he didn't take his glove off, there's an issue because of course it was so hot and muggy in here that it created the dampness in the glove. Coach, 15,960 fans packed into the into the Unidome for the uh, home opener. Uh, great crowd at the start of the game. That's a great crowd. What I always tell these players is this, this dome will rock for you. This dome, let them play with you. And if you play with the intensity and get after people, this, this, every fan in here will play with you and be a factor in this game. But you gotta play at that level. And this is an awesome crowd and a great student section down here. And Coach, you're 2-0, you've got a bye week now before you head out and play at Northern Colorado and then uh, another ranked uh, 
opponent when the Panthers are back inside the Unidome. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Panther sports talk coming up right after this.